okay, foundational things. Get more, get sunlight in your eyes in the morning, especially on cloudy days, as many days of your life as you can yep. and make it a pleasurable thing, Yeah. right? Just get up and get outside, get out on a porch, get outside, you know, take your sunglasses, just do it, right? Um, uh, most days, if not every day. Try and get your sleep right. Now, younger people with different schedules, like don't give up a social life, but, you know, try and get a good amount of sleep. Get good at that. Some people are great sleepers, some people aren't. Very good idea if you want to be healthy, to do three days a week of weight training. We're talking about 10 minutes of warm up and 50 to 60 minutes of working out. If you want, we have a, a schedule like a, that encompasses all this. It's on huberlab.com. You get it free. There's nothing to sell here. It's just like a fitness toolkit. That we have a sleep toolkit, all that zero cost. Oh, wow. You just download it as a PDF, three pagers. So you don't have to listen to me talk. Yeah. Then I would say three days a week of resistance training and train your legs, guys. Come on. Hmm. You know, like, have, like, come on. Um, and three days a week of some cardiovascular work. People might say, well, listen, I'm in my 20s or 30s. Like, I'm not worried about it. It's not about being worried about a heart attack. It's about maintaining blood flow to everything. What is some cardiovascular work? Okay, so I think one day a week, you take a long, slow jog or pedal on the bike or treadmill or swim, whatever your favorite thing is. If you want to make it social and you're out with somebody, you could literally get one, like wear a weight vest for a hike if you want to make it harder. But um, you could skip rope whatever. The other cardio day, sprint. It's real easy. Find a patch of land, sprint for 30 seconds to 45 seconds, then walk back for a minute to 90 seconds, sprint again, do that five to 10 times. Till, by, by the end, you will have increased your speed, your VO2 max, your output. And then another day, make do something fun, like some other cardiovascular thing that's kind of fun. It could be basketball, yeah. it could be skateboarding, like something that you enjoy at least three days a week. And the other day is weight training. It's not complicated. And then one day a week, just take off as a recovery day. And to, the way to organize this so that your legs recover in time for the sprint day and your sprints are kind of double as a uh, leg day. We have an episode on this called Toolkit for Fitness. You don't have to watch it. We'll just have our Fitness Toolkit lays out the schedule, exercise selection, rest sets, all that. Yeah. Super easy, it's minimal time commitment. And listen, there are reasons to do it for aesthetic reasons, there are reasons to do it for heart health reasons. This is key. Okay, so sunlight, that. Have some tool to be able to control your stress. Some people are super mellow, but some non-pharmaceutical tool. The double inhale through the nose, the physiological size. So big, deep inhale through the nose, then sneak in a little bit more air, then dump all your air with your mouth. That's the fastest way to calm down. 